there and welcome to this quick guide on how to use your iPad and your Apple TV to help you project a PowerPoint presentation for your class. The first thing you will need to do is make your PowerPoint presentation and the easiest way to do this is the way you've always done it on your desktop computer right there. The challenge then is getting it from there onto here so you can put it there and the class can see it and you can control it. But believe me, it is worth going to the extra effort to do it this way rather than the old fashioned way projecting directly from there. And we'll talk about why in a separate video. The easiest and simplest way to do this is simply by emailing the file to yourself. If I open my email here, you'll see that I have a file which I've set myself with a P for PowerPoint presentation in it. This is an RS presentation intervention right or wrong. I could just tap on that and it would open in preview mode. However, the best way to do it so I can control it from my screen is actually to hold my finger down. Oh, that's preview, excuse me. It's actually to hold my finger down on the P and then select this option here, open in Keynote. Then we'll see that Keynote opens up straight away. You might get a message saying it can't use the same font. That's fine, so just click Done. My presentation is there, ready for me to play. The other way to do it, if you had more than one presentation or a number of presentations which you've already created, let's say you had a whole folder of presentations to use for the day, is to upload them into your Google Drive. I'll show you how to upload in a separate video, but then when you've got the files in your Google Drive, all you'll need to do is open the Google Drive app. I'm already signed in here. We'll go to our year nine RS folder because I'm looking for exactly the same presentation as before. There's my presentation, intervention right or wrong. This time I'm gonna tap on the I and then I'm gonna select open in and from there I'm gonna select open in Keynote and lo and behold, my presentation will open in Keynote. Again, I'll get the same message as before. That's absolutely fine. I'll select my presentation. I'll click play. And because I'm already connected to my Apple TV, my presentation is good to go. Now I can change the slides remotely. I can annotate on the go on here, which I'll show you in a separate video. And generally my lessons can be more interactive speedier and easier for me to control. Really worth taking the time to do this.